Good morning and welcome to Our Chicago. I'm Tanya Babich. The need for blood donations hasn't eased because of the pandemic. According to the American Red Cross, every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Well, that need is met with donations from people like you and like me. And by large scale efforts such as the ABC7 Great Chicago Blood Drive. And here to talk about that are Selena Roldan, the regional chief executive officer of the American Red Cross of Illinois, and Dr. Kyle Mack, a pediatric hematologist with Lurie Children's Hospital. So right now we are really grateful to every single person that has donated blood since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, we are looking very carefully every single day at blood donations that are coming in because we know during the winter months we already typically see a shortage in blood donations. So we see that from people who already get sick from the flu, um, from other things that happen during due to inclement weather. And so on top of that, then you also know that you do have cancellations from people who they, they themselves have um, become diagnosed with COVID or have been exposed to COVID. So it's just so critically important um, that we are continue to encourage people to come out and donate blood. Walk us through the steps that are being taken in order to keep donors safe. Absolutely. So the safety is the number one priority for the American Red Cross for every individual that comes out to donate blood, as well as for our staff and our workforce that are there um, on the front lines collecting blood. We know that blood donation is an essential service, and that's really important for people to know that it ensures a healthy community when there's a healthy blood supply because the need for blood is constant. So we are adhering to the highest safety protocols. We are doing really encouraging people to make appointments for blood drives because that helps ensure social distancing. We are taking, uh, doing temperature checks when people enter in to be able to donate blood. We are doing social distancing of bloods, we're, beds. We are doing additional cleaning. Um, all of those additional protocols to ensure that we are having the safest environment possible for people that are donating blood. Dr. Mack, a lot of people don't realize this, but it is critically important that we get a wide swath of demographics donating blood. You do a lot of work to ensure that we increase the number of Black men and women who are donating blood. Why is that? Yeah, so it's important to um, collect blood to represent the diversity of the city that we live in. Um, and there's some biological reasons why that's important, particularly for uh, people of color who require recurrent transfusions. So for example, patients with sickle cell disease have complications where they need blood often, and they can absolutely receive blood from match donors. But it turns out that people of the same ethnicity um, are more likely to match with some of the minor proteins on the red cells from people who are ethnically similar. And so therefore, for patients who have ongoing needs for blood, um, it's best for them to get blood from uh, donors who look like them. And so in a city like Chicago that has such a wide swath of diverse residents, it's important that the blood donation um, repository of blood reflects that same population. Dr. Mack, we've talked a little bit about the precautions that are being taken in order to keep people safe from COVID, but in the Black community, there are hesitations to give blood, not just for COVID-related reasons, but because of, because of historic discrimination and, and even experimentation that's been done on the Black population. How do we dispel those, uh, those misconceptions about what is now? Yeah, so this is a really important question, and it's apropos for these times. I think the first point that I would make is recognition that these are genuine, real concerns that are valid um, and listening to them and encouraging people to voice them. I think that's progress in and of itself and really getting people to recognize some of the historical um, aspects of medicine and research that are undoubtedly a part of our history. And I think after doing that, then it's critically important to pivot to um, have individuals do their research, um, gather information, um, talk to their providers, and talk to each other, including um, those providers um, who look like them, like myself, who got the vaccine. Um, I captured footage of it, and I didn't have a reaction afterwards. And, you know, in a year like this, there were very few things that we could latch on to that were hopeful, and that uh, that evening, um, getting the vaccine 
I had a tremendous amount of hope that we were slowly but surely turning the corner. And so blood donation is critically important for our communities. We know that COVID-19 is affecting our communities. There are some complications with COVID-19 that might require people to get blood on an ongoing basis. And so we really wanna recruit people to come out and know that they can donate blood safely to help their community. We'll be back with more of our discussion about the need for blood donations and the ABC7 Great Chicago Blood Drive after a short break. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.